guys what is up back with another episode of weekly sneaker rotation uh this is episode what are we at 16 and thank you for the support guys if you guys want to go follow me on instagram and twitter links in the description so go do that and hit that like button if you guys are still enjoying this series to let me know anyways monday vans authentic star wars stormtrooper paisley first time breaking these out surprisingly comfortable actually uh first pair of vans i've ever worn and i'm pretty pleased with them just a nice low top comfortable shoe on tuesday broke these out for the first time the adidas fyw rain basically just like a black leather adidas casual sneaker with the feet you wear technology on the bottom the leather is actually really, really nice on these. Uh, very, very soft, and you have that cool patent leather on the heel and around the ankle. Pretty pleased with these, actually very comfortable. Not the most ventilated shoe, my, my uh, foot was getting hot, but that's what I wore on Tuesday. On Wednesday, I wore my Adidas flip-flops. You guys know what these are, nothing special. I didn't really do much on Wednesday, so I didn't really feel the need to throw on a nice pair of shoes. I, I don't even know what I was doing there, wiggling my toes. That was weird. Thumbs up for toe wiggle. But that's what I wore on Wednesday. On Thursday, I was playing some basketball, and I wore the Nike N7 Stutter Step. These things are just really, really nice. I can't say it enough. The more I wear these, the more I like them. Just really comfortable for the price. Just an awesome shoe. And I love how the tongue also acts as sort of a Hirachi booty, except not quite. It just, it's an amazing fit. You guys need to try it on if you haven't already. Because for the price point of $85, or as I got them for $38, you cannot really go wrong with the Nike Stutter Step. I definitely recommend you guys try it out if you can find it for a good price. Moving on to Friday, my favorite shoe that I wore this week, the Nike LeBron 11 ID. I guess I'm don't really have a nickname, let's call them the black and gold Everglades. Uh, the bottom glows in the dark, crazy, crazy colors on the Everglade print, metallic gold swoosh. What can I say guys, these things are amazing. I'm really happy with how they turned out and I couldn't wait to break them out, so I decided to wear them on Friday. I really like how they look on feet, and just the comfort of the LeBron 11, in my opinion, is very, very good. I know some people are a bit iffy about that, seeing as that LeBron didn't actually wear them all that much, but no need to worry, the LeBron 11 is an amazing shoe. Friday, or Saturday, I guess we're on now, I wore the Reebok Basquiat ExoFit Plus High. Uh, you guys have seen this before, just a really out there shoe, you have Basquiat's painting on this shoe uh, this particular painting is called hollywood africans and just a very nice looking shoe in my opinion definitely just looks like art on shoe on art on a shoe because that's what it is and finally on sunday i wore the nike free flyknit 3.0 i'm heading off to new york on sunday and i'll be in new york for like half the day on sunday i'm getting there at like midday but uh yeah this is what i decided to wear for my first day in new york the nike free flying at 3.0 very comfortable very lightweight and it's just a nice shoe that you can walk around the city in and your feet won't get sore and so that's why i decided to wear these guys that's it for this week guys hit the like button like i'm telling you to do i'm struggling to get my hand in the frame there and hit the subscribe button peace